Hello everyone, my name is JaegerBR, and welcome to Pokemon Duel. Now this is a relatively new game on the App Store. It is, it's an official Pokemon game, and it seemed pretty interesting, kind of like an RPG style of Pokemon, but not quite, but an official Pokemon RPG. So let's get into it and see how it is. It was rated as one of the top new games of the App Store, so I'm pretty excited for it. Alright. Let's see. This game can be finished completely for free. In-app purchases are available. Requires an active internet. Let's see. English. Not date of birth. Close. Eh. And ooh, that was the wrong way. And boop. Yep. Can't read that, but that looks good. So it looks like it's dated yesterday. Okay, so it looks like it's ready to go. All right, so now it's going to download more. All right, looks like it's ready. Tap screen to begin. OK. Seven minutes in, and the game's finally loading. Or load it. OK. It's a live news thing. Oops. The day you've all been waiting for has arrived. At last, I'm proud to announce the commencement of the Pokemon Figure Game World Championships. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the grand prize, the glorious Jewel Tower in all its splendor. You win a tower? What? What? That's a weird prize. Today, Carmonte Islands welcomes the cream of the PFG crop. Of you elite players, only one shall prevail victorious. PFG World Championships are now officially underway. This concludes our broadcast from Carmenti Island. Well dressed boy. D37. This looks like my seat. Nice to meet you, neighbor. You must be here for the Pokemon figure game more championships too, am I right? Probably just like everyone else on the planet. I sure am. I knew it. In that case, you and I are rivals. My name's Luca. I'm pleased to meet you. Anyway, I hope I didn't startle you. Can you believe we have the chance to actually win that skyscraper? I know. Such a strange idea. Especially considering most people start Pokemon training at 10. So, a 10 year old could win a skyscraper. Say, how long have you been playing PFG? It's my first time. Yep, that's is the face I would expect. Unless you have played before, right? No kidding. Entering a tournament for something you've never ever even. You're brave, I'll give you that. Don't worry, I'll teach you the ropes quick enough. You're lucky you ran into me. I was sitting in my seat, and you just came and started talking to me. Oh, it looks like we're almost at Carmenti Island. Once you've picked up your gear, come and find me. That was a short plane trip. Oh, that's a cool looking... I don't know, that's very commercial island. I can't imagine seeing that in real life. Island with nothing but giant skyscrapers on it. This 
place looks pretty advanced. Border control, not patrol. Welcome to Carmonte Island. You're here for the tournament? I'll just need your name. It's, it is Jaeger BR. Or Jaeger Brewer. Tap OK. Please do not enter personal information. Too late for that. Ish. Can I go? Nope. Alright, you're all signed up for the PFG World Championship. Let me set you up with the basics. This here's a dual set. Okay. So I get the three starter, three original starter Pokemon, Radita, Radicate, and a Sparrow. Change it and Pokemon Switch. I was hoping it was a Nintendo Switch. An X Attack and an Awaken. And you'll be needing one of these too. A mask. PFG players have worn these things since way back. It's like an old island custom. Okay. Every contestant has one, so expect to see a few mask faces around. Seems like a terrible idea. That's actually very accurate. Because I have black hair and green eyes, and it's probably about the right skin color. All right. Oh, I don't. Is this my? Let's see. I still think that first one's probably. Yep, that first one's. That's not it. We'll go with that. Hey, Jaeger bro. Looks like you were entered in. But now that that's over, want to have a duel? I'll explain the rules. Come on, let's go. What an idiot. We're rivals and he's going to teach me how to beat him. This is where duels take place. There are figures for practicing with, so let's duel. First spin, the first spin decides who starts. Do I? What am I tapping on? Play. It's not doing anything. First spin of what? Okay, I had to restart, so let's see if it puts me back right where, if that fixes the problem. Alright. So this is where duels take place. So, okay, so let's duel. First spin decides who starts. No, it's still connecting, so am I okay? Let's say 100 now. <sighs> Alright, this time I'm going to wait till it's completely done loading before I tap play, and we'll see if that works. Alright, so it's not loading. Next. Okay, I'm going to press play. Okay, of course it works this time, but that's good. He's not wearing a mask. That was the one rule I was told about this place. It's the only thing I know about it. Alright. So I have a 2 Pikachu, so Charizard, and an Eevee. First move is yours. The condition for winner is simple. All you have to do is get one of your figures to the goal. Okay. Yeah, obviously. It's all about protecting your own goal while trying to get to the opponents. The six points closest to you are your bench. All the figures in your bench are lined up there. Let's take a look at one of your figures. Alright. We'll tap on Eevee. Tap it figure to see its status and the number of spaces it can move. Alright. Seems. Alright, so. 
status is MP minus one. And it looks like it can move three steps. A time to make a move. Place a figure on an entry point to bring it onto the field. Alright. Right. It's MP indicates the number of points it can move. But for the first move, MP is reduced by one. First it's your turn. Let's move a figure. Okay. Once you've moved your figure, that's the end of your turn. Now it's my turn. Okay. Your figure can't move onto or past the point occupied by an opponent figure. Not unless you knock them out of the way first, and the only way to do that is to battle. So if I... Right. Battles are decided by which attack you spin on the wheel. Stop the wheel and use an attack. Well, that is too fast to actually... Oh, I didn't have to stop it. Voltor was knocked out. By the way, a blue attack is a dodge, and a red attack is a miss. There are also purple and gold attacks, which have various effects. You'll learn them as you go. If you miss, literally any hit will beat you. So you want to avoid them if you can. Okay. Losing Pokemon sent to the Pokemon Center. While it's there, it can't be used. Same goes for any figure in the Pokemon Center. So I can either attack... Oh, he wants me to send out a Bulbasaur. I'm going to send him up there. Let me teach you a different technique. Are we going to double tag him? Double team him? This is called surrounding. If you surround an opponent figure on all sides, you automatically beat them without even battling. Okay. Now's your chance. If you use a plate here, you'll be able to take control. Grass type Pokemon deal plus 20 damage. This effect lasts until one of your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by a grass type. Okay. So I'm going to wreck this Lapras. Yeah. Psh, psh. So did it do extra damage since it was a uh, water and grass type? Once three Pokemon are sent to the Pokemon Center, the first one there returns to the bench. But any figure rejoining the bench and it enters weight status first. This means it can't be used for one turn. Let's just win. Hey, you reached the goal. Looks like you win this one. I'm a wiener. Rating 85 to f plus 15, key fragments 3, lead promotion in 1215. Alright, now a lot of connecting and loading. So that seems like a very simple concept of gameplay to figure out. And it seems like it can be highly addictive. Right. You won this time, so your rating has gone up by 15. Oh, good. I thought it wasn't gonna let me click it again. I want this chest. It looks like I can open it in three seconds or something. When you win duels, you can obtain time boosters. You can have up to three in your inventory. With time boosters, you can unlock them after a certain amount of time has passed. Let's unlock this one. You can see the possible drops from a time booster. It shows how much time it, until it opens. I like how Ivasaur's War Turtle and Charm. I guess that's so you can get them. But. Let's see. You'll be able to open it soon. Oh, good. I thought it was going to make me use a ruby or whatever. The amount of time required to open a locked booster varies depending on its color. 
Let's open it. What's it gonna be? Pikachu. I had two of them, maybe. Oh, that figure looks strong. Let's put it in your deck. I should have figured. Oh, still connecting. Can't do anything when you're connecting. Okay, here we go. If you want to change the figures, hit edit figures. Is there figures currently in your deck? Is there figures you have in your collection? Set Pikachu. Set, set Pikachu. First tap the figure you want to switch out. Tap the Pikachu you want to put in. And you're done. Figures currently set will have a check mark. Okay. If you want to search for figures with a specific MP score, the MP filter can be handy. If you want to use other f filters, you can use display settings. You only have three of the same Pokemon in your deck at the same time. That's not how Pokemon works. Well done on changing your deck. Oh, looks like you can open a locked booster. If you collected 10 key fragments, you'll be able to open a locked booster. If you win a duel, you get three. Even if you lose, you'll get one. But you can only get up to four fragments from losing matches. Well, let's open it. Is this acquired rare metal, uncommon. Well, which is it, rare or uncommon? Can't be both. Rare metals will give a lot of experience to your Pokemon when used as a fusion group. Let's give it a try. There's fusion on this game? This isn't Digimon. There's no Poke Fusion. Right. Let's try it with your Pikachu. Figure set now. Let's choose some figures to use for upgrading. Figures gain XP for fusion. When they reach a certain amount of XP, they will level up. But that's not even gonna be enough to level them up. Okay, it's connecting. I don't know why, but that connecting circle is not obvious to me. I feel like I need to be tapping somewhere else. Mm. All right, so ready to go. Well, it glitching like that resulted in me losing my money, losing my rare metals, and Pikachu not getting leveled up and me being stuck in this, in that tutorial level. But, let's see if this will fix anything. If not... I get to delete my game and go through all this story again. Yay! Well, at least I can do that in my off time, not while I'm waiting. Not while I'm trying to record and show off the new any features of the game. <laughs> Still broken. Well, I'll let it finish loading. And though I can already tell that's not going to do anything. Oh wait, it is. Or did I catch him at level two? I don't know. He doesn't look to upgrade to me. So as soon as it's done loading, we'll see if this. Okay, so my game is now broken because of that. So I guess I will be ending this video here. I'm definitely gonna delete this app, and come back and play more of this game. I re it's it's a very addictive game, and being Pokemon, I, ha I have to play it. So, thank you for watching. If you like this, there's another video below me that YouTube thinks you'll like. There's a YouTube, there's a YouTube, there's a video in the other corner, that was the last video that I uploaded, and if you click my icon in the middle, you can subscribe. Alright, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!